Hey friends, all right. Thank you for joining us uh, on the last and the best of the, uh, I drove four hours to buy it collection. So uh, this was some stuff that had been set aside uh, in one box. Plus I started finding other items to throw in with it. So this is kind of the best. Um, not a lot, but there's definitely some great items. Almost all of it shrink wrapped. I've got one item that is not shrink wrapped. We'll just start with it. One of the silver anniversary collector sets. Fantastic shape. Um, it is, does the artwork is not the signed version, unfortunately, which is extremely hard to find. All the modules are there. Great shape. Uh, looks like a little bit of a ding to corners and the L3 as a spine crease or so, but great piece of history here. Um, these were short print runs. Um, they came, they went, and uh, I remember they didn't sell great because it was a very expensive item. I think it was, um, was it a six, well, 60 bucks new back then. They go for a lot more of that now. It's almost uh, uh, 20, four years old at this point so crazy all right into the better stuff which is that's a good item but this is also a good item so we've got a red steel set in the original shrink wrap um it does have some things and indentation to it but the contents never been opened so uh, remember when those used to be at every kb what was it kb or yeah, KB, uh, hobby in the malls. A um, couple Dark Sun items. This is the second edition box set. Shrink wrapped, never opened. Pristine. Fantastic, right? Not even corner wear on this one. Also, we have the Mind Lords of the Last Sea shrink wrapped. Um, can't say anything more than hey it was shrink wrapped and it is in great shape a couple modules that uh, turned up in the last box that kind of shoved them aside so you couldn't see them this is the uh gazetteer number 14 the uh Autrian clans i can't probably pr never pronounce that right in the original shrink and then the two elminster ecologies also in the original shrink and I've got enough stuff here that I can do a good discussion on shrink wrapping. So uh, between the ones I found earlier in the collection, uh, a couple of odds and ends I have on my own, and then this, this stuff is just fantastic. Um, sea by Soul Sea, another Dark Sun item, and this one is in the original shrink. Shrink has torn in a number of places. This one is nowhere, not as clean as the other ones, but it is still unopened. One Greyhawk item, we've got the Wars box set, also shrink-wrapped, never opened. Cannot find this anymore, unopened. They are just out, out there. And it doesn't even have a KB price sticker on it. Uh, one, one item for later in the... AD&D 2nd Edition. This is the Tale of the Comet. It is in the original shrink. It does have some tearing to the top right corner here and a little, little bit of wear. Other sides are all pretty clean. Um, the indentation in the back here. So I think what happened is it just got a little bit of a hit back here and that probably tore the shrink and caused a little bit of damage. But contents will be minty fresh. Minty fresh. And then the rest of this is a bunch of Alcadim items. So we've got the City of Delights in the original shrink wrap, unopened. Cities of Bone, also original shrink wrap. I guess they were not an Alcadim fan. They were just buying them and putting them aside. That has a price of 80 bucks on it. Uh, Assassin Mountain, original shrink. Caravan, original shrink. Secrets of the Lamp. Not even going to say it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Golden Voyages. It's got a uh, 
a little piece of tape on the back. Looks like a $30 price tag on it. Must have bought it at a convention or something. Did not damage the shrink. Golden Voyages. Ruined Kingdoms. This one is in the shrink. It does have a little indentation here. Um, I can see a crease to the cover. These boxes held up much better than the um, Dark Sun boxes, uh, the, the little flimsy cardboard things that they use. This is the style they should have stuck with. This one's got a $25 sticker on it. And our last item of this collection, Corsairs of the Great Sea, also factory shrink wrapped. So, fantastic, huh? Don't get that many shrink wrapped items in collection anymore. I, I, nah, this doesn't happen. So between this and then I think I had another eight or nine items. I want to say we did five, 10, 15, probably 25 shrink wrapped items came in this collection, um, which <laughs> is just such a rarity, such a rarity these days as we get older. And so does this stuff. Well, that does it for the I Drove four, four Hours collection. Um, we will get back into a uh, probably some of the, the Massive Hall for a little bit. I'm going to then be traveling to buy a, another collection, another substantial collection. And I have one here already. So we have lots to get through no shortage of items. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. And we will see you on the next one. Take care.